my friends, what a wonderful sight. Let me welcome you all on this fine Christmas night. Now, you heard the old story, we all know it well, but that's not the story I came here to tell. Every now and again, often more than it seems, when your eyelids are heavy and fated for dreams, a new sort of story just might be in store. When the mind is a forest and you've opened a door. Like the scene you see here, at a first passing glance, might seem ordinary, yes, or plain happenstance. But such wonders emerge where reality thins, and that is where our story begins. Oh my, 
what now? The children are asleep. But look, there's nothing underneath. No ghouls, no witches here to scream and scare them or ensnare them. Only little cozy things secure inside their dreamland. <sighs> What's this? The monsters are all missing and the nightmares can't be found. And in their place there seems to be good feeling all around. Instead of screams, I swear I can hear music in the air. The smell of cakes and pies are absolutely everywhere. The sights, the sounds, they're everywhere and all around. I've never felt so cold before. The empty place inside of me is filling up. I simply cannot get up. I want it, I want it, I want it for my own. I've got to know, I've got to know. But it's this place that I have found. What is this?
much. And now, with your permission, I'm going to do my stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! That you're in. It's hopeless. You're finished. You haven't got a prayer. Cause I'm Mr. Boogie Boogie. And you ain't going nowhere. to be found in the cover of the night where such wonders abound by the light of the moon and the gust of the wind from the shadows that mask an old skeleton's grin through the fog that collects in the space between dreams we discover that nothing is quite as it seems and when we awake, rubbing sleep from our eyes, blinking back at the moon in its cloudy disguise, we ask ourselves, what do we truly recall? Was it really a dream? Did it happen at all? <laughs> <laughs> 